Hi guys, welcome to episode one of Grassroots to Glory. Now, in this series, we're going to be using the database that has just been released by Dan Databases. Uh, the link is below in the description. And we're going to take Macclesfield, formerly Macclesfield Town, all the way from the Northern Premier League uh, to as far as we can, Premier League, etc. Um, now, if you don't know the background to Macclesfield, like I said, formerly Macclesfield Town, back in 2020, they were wound up due to some bad decisions by their owner at the time, and then a certain Robbie Savage came in and saved them. So, let's see how far we can take them. Now, we have already done pre-season. Uh, pre-season was a really big success. Won every game, 6-0, 3-1, 4-1, 3-0, and 1-0. Uh, toughest game, obviously, Airbus, and we actually start the season tomorrow uh, against Mosley. So... In terms of signings that we've brought in, the squad is actually really strong already. We didn't need to do too much. Harvey Cullinan and Tom Wilson were brought in to be starting centre-backs, um, just because they were on free transfers and better than what we had. And we brought Ruben Noble Lazarus in on the wing as well. What is strange about this level is that normally it is amateurs. However, we we're actually able to offer contracts, which I find quite a different challenge, um, because obviously we have a wage budget to work with. Um, but it's going to be fun. Financially wise, the club is still in a bit of a hole. Um, it was like that when we took over. Um, but they gave us a transfer budget and a wage budget. You know, we've got a £19,000 transfer budget there if we want to because we've lowered the cup um, prize money for the squad if we if we do anything in there. The focus is to win the league. We are 92 to 1 on with the bookmakers to win the league. I've never, ever seen a team that is that hot with the bookies to win. So... Let's see how we get on with our first game. Okay, game day one, both teams are playing a 4-2-3-1, both with holding midfielders as well, which is interesting. Um, Nicky Maynard, Neil Dance are our notable players in the squad, as well as Mark uh, Marcelo Patelga, who is actually on loan from Liverpool, um, which is amazing to see a player from Liverpool be on loan at this level. So, let's see how we get on. Chance here for us then. Lee takes a throw in to Dance, uh, made Dance captain as well, shoots over the bar. And chance for Mosley. Sass to Klee. We've we are trigger pressing a few of their players. Our oh, Noble Lazarus. He is he's been quite impressive in preseason. Um long ball to Nicky Maynard, down to Murphy, to Barry. Barry had a very good preseason as well for a young lad. I think he's only 21. Into Maynard. Oh, he's got a score. Has to score. And chance for Mosley. Klee with a throw in. Long, but Wilson picks it out. Nicky Maynard. So much space on the other side of the pitch. When he goes to Noble Lazarus, the pass is on to Barry. Berry cuts it back, surely. Maynard. Oh, how did we mess that up? Noble oh, Lazarus on the ball here to Berry again. Berry's having a very good game. He's involved in everything. Maynard, 1-0 to the Silk Men. What a finish by Nicky Maynard. It looks like he's attacked offside. The goal has stood. Let's see. Oh, he is just onside. And they mostly kick off for Sass on the ball. Need to build on that goal now and really push on and take the game away from Mosley. Noble Lazarus. I mean, uh, Curran and Barry having such good games. Great ball to Curran. Curran, it's 2 0. Two quick goals. That is a beautiful pass and a great finish. That's on the ball for Mosley. Interesting news for us right at the start of this half. Nicky Maynard's had to go off injured. So we've brought Kenegni on. Um, he had a good preseason as well. Mosley on the attack here, though. Poor ball. Really poor ball chance to build for the back. Really from the back. We've gone back to the keeper. Scott Dans. Neil Dans, sorry. Noble Lazarus on the ball now to Murphy. Cowan. What can, can we get another goal here? 3 0 takes it and puts it to bed, I think. Back to Dans. Dans to Lee. Lee shoots. Oh, it is. He's offside. Let's see this decision. I thought he got his first goal, but he's offside. Let's have a look how close. Yeah, he's a long way off, isn't he? Good call by the linesman. Murphy to Noble Lazarus. Crossfield ball to Dan's. Great effort on the volley. Murphy on the ball for Mosley. Plays a long ball, but that's easily cut out by Lee. Having a good game at the left back, Lee. Plays it to the goalie. Long ball out to Kegney. Kegney brings it down. Defenders made a mess of it. It's 3-0. Route 1 football at its very best. Duffy with a free kick. Whips it in. Cleared. Fawns gets to the second ball as well. Mosley now on the attack. 
the pass was on, but he, he just didn't see it. And that'll happen quite a lot at this level. Ooh, long ball, but that is going... Oh, it's not. The keeper's made a mess of it. He hit the post. How has that not gone in? Chance for a spell from the map. Wilson to Patogla. I can't pronounce his name correctly. <laughs> That's not great, is it? Um, he is only on the season loan, obviously. Light in. Oh, good effort. Mostly are looking dangerous here. All right, chance for us to build from Matt Wilson. Again, had a very, very good game to Lee. Barry, who's been superb, to Murphy. Noble Lazarus. Plays it through to Cagney. Is it four? Good save. Okay, so some bad news. Um, obviously, we mentioned uh, in the in the first game, right after half time, it was only about twenty seconds into the second half. Nicky Maynard had to come off. He is out now with sprained ankle ligaments uh, for around a month and a half. Given time to get back to fitness, probably nearer two months. That is not good news. He is by far the best striker in the league and our best striker in the, in the squad by an absolute mile. Um, however, hopefully Kegney can come in and he will be able to fill his boots and score some goals. Okay, game day two, Colner home, one change made to our team that isn't forced. Obviously, we mentioned slightly before that Kengi is coming in for the injured Nicky Maynard, and Mendy is coming in at centre-back um, just to rotate and keep our players fit as we have got another game shortly after. So we've actually got three games in the space of a week, um, which is tough at this level. Let's see how we get on. Answer us here there, under the floodlights at Macclesfield. Long ball, but it's cut out. Colm are uh, a decent team, um, to be fair. Roberts on the ball to Doug Dale. Long ball, but that's a dreadful long ball. Chance for us to really build now, six minutes into the game. Lee. He's going on an adventure there. Plays it to Berry. Berry. Oh, he's at the post. Berry with a free kick. Chips it into the box, but it's cleared. Um, this is a battle. I know it's only second game of the season. Great ball. Cagney. Penalty. Great decision by the referee, and it's a penalty to Macclesfield. This step was clear as the top, as I was about to say. This is a battle of the top two. Neil Dans has absolutely slotted that into the bottom corner. A captain's penalty. Fagan with the throw in them for Colm, and it's a long clearance. Murphy mops it up, and it's dinked back forward, but it's a poor ball. Wow, that's a dreadful pass. Um, Wilson <laughs> just took it off the goalie. Goal. That's the yeah. communication at its finest between the defenders and the goalkeeper. Barry with a chance. It's at the back post if he wants it. Oh, he does it. He goes on his own. James Barry, what a first goal of the season. Let's watch this replay again. He should never beat the keeper from there, but he does. An absolute rocket. Chance for Colin. It's dink long, but it's easily collected by Peter Luger. It's so good having him in goal, I must admit. Two substitutions that made for us then. Wilson has gone off. Chance for us here. He shoots. Oh, it's close. Good effort from Kegney. Noble Lazarus with the corner. Whipped in. Another chance. It's another penalty. It's a silly tackle. Two penalties in the game now. Neil Dans to get his second of the match. Oh, this one is not slotted. This one is smashed. 3-0 to the Silkmen. Duffy, corner to Macclesfield. Whipped in, but he's going to get another pop at it. First time. Back to Curran to Mendy. Oh, that's a good tackle by Adewusi. Really good tackle. Colm, chance to counter-attack. Donko. Donko shoots, puts it wide. Trey Pemberton with the throw in for us. He's come off the bench. Neil Dans on a hat-trick. Neil Dans, what a goal. Hat-trick for the captain. <laughs> what a way to cap it off. Let's watch the replay. This is absolutely brilliant. If you're going to get a hat-trick, there is no better way to do it than to bend it into the top corner from 20 yards. What a goal. Chance for Colm here. Long ball, but that's going to be mopped up by Mendy. He is a colossus in the air. Doesn't miss anything. He had a really good game, considering that he is now. He was first choice when I came in, but he's not anymore. Um, Wallbank whips it in. We want this clean sheet. Oh, we haven't got it. There's no flag from the linesman. As I said it, they scored. It's poor defending. Let's look at this replay. Wallbank. It's not a great ball in, I must admit. It's rescued by Doncor. 
and Carney just ghosts in at the back post and he ghosts in off Mendy. Signing alert. Obviously, earlier in the episode, um, we lost Nicky Mendy for six weeks. This lad, Tyrese Arnecker, was on a free transfer. What a player. We've got him on a 12-month deal. Um, previously was at Crew Alexandra. So let's see how he plays. Now, he is supposedly going to be the best thing since sliced bread, according to Mike Scout. What I'm confused about, I'm just going to... Four and a half star rating. Could improve to Vanarama National slightly. And the fan reaction is only a B. Get behind him. Get behind the lads. Come on. But he'll be playing in our next game, which is Coventry Spinks in the FA Cup. Preliminary rounds. That's a tongue twister. I can never say that word. Let's see how we get on. Okay, game day number three. And it is our first FA Cup game of the season. We are at home to Coventry Sphinx and we are pay playing a much changed team. In fact, if you look at that team, the only players to keep their spots in it from the last game, Pitaluga, Murphy and Kengney. And Kegney's moved out to the left wing because we are playing Aneka, our brand new striker who is going to set the world on fire. Um, we should win this game pretty comfortably. So we have played a lot of our sort of second string to boost fitness because we have a game against Trafford in just three days, which will feature in episode two. This is going to be um, a big game, though. The referee only given out two yellow cards. He's only had one match. Um, we are at a level where we don't even know who the referee is um, or if he'll even turn up. Maybe his car broke down on the way. We don't know. Let's find out how we get on in the first round of the FA Cup preliminary rounds. Answer is here then. Grimshaw to Bunny. Bunny is a very good player. Um, that is cleared long though. And it's back to the goalkeeper. I mean, we, we've got to do better to build the ball there for me. That is not um, not great. But Pitaluga to Mendy. Mendy kept his place as well. I forgot he played the last game. Pemberton to Hansen. Hansen has got acres of space. It's a good ball in. Oh, he's at the post. Duffy crosses it in. Cleared, but only as far as Kengley. Kegney, chance, shoots, puts it wide. Long ball cleared by Mendy to Bunny. Neil Dans, who's also... I thought I'd taken him out of the team. Obviously, I haven't, but he's kept his place as well. That is my mistake. Duffy, corner. Whipped in, cleared. We are knocking at that door. Are we going to break it down? He is up. got to be a mile offside. Surely he's offside. It's not been given. It's a goal. Wow. Let's have a look at the offside replay. He looked like he was a long way. No, he's onside. Duffy, free kick, shoots. Good save. We've got a corner off the back of that. That was a really good save by the Coventry Sphinx goalkeeper. Duffy takes the corner. Near post. Cleared. That's for us to build from the back here. That Murphy to Duffy. Duffy always oh, close. It nearly went through to Onyeka. But the work rate of him has won the ball back. To Kegney. Kegney to Duffy. Hits the bar. I mean, this game could be 4-0. Bunny with a long ball forward, but it's cleared by Jones. Grimshaw picks it up, though. Great crossfield pass to Hanson. Pemberton is the ball, but he doesn't play it. Comes inside. To Grimshaw. Grimshaw shoots straight at the goalie. But now we're played, it's still only 1-0, despite us absolutely dominating this game. Their goalkeeper is having the game of his life, but Anyaka wins the long ball, shoots and puts it over. Davis, long ball forward. Won by uh, Coventry. Saxon's on the ball now, but he loses it. Kegney, who is having a very good game on the left wing. I'm very impressed with him in that position. Poor Paul by Grimshaw. But Kegney gets there to win it, but Anyaka hadn't anticipated but keeps the ball in, crosses it back in, Duffy, straight at the goalie. How is this 1-0? Corner, cleared. Whoa, what a volley that was by John Walker. It's one all. That has come out of nowhere. What a hit, son. Let's watch the replay. It's a good punch by Pitaluga, but Walker just meets it. Wow. Coventry Spinks building from the back. Long ball out. We are in danger. No, Lazarus. Oh, he's offside. Never mind. Let's see the replay. How close was that, I wonder? Oh, just. He is just offside. Duffy, free kick. 
two minutes plus stoppage time to play. If we're going to get a winner, now would be the time. I'm amazed that we haven't won this game. Oh, it's off the top of the goal. Right then, guys, there you have it. That is the end of episode one of Grassroots to Glory. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Episodes of this will drop every single day, um, so make sure you tune in and uh, and let me know what how you think it's going, what I would do, what you would do differently, and what I should maybe change. Um, and if there's something you'd like to see on an episode, please let me know in the comments because that allows me to really tailor it to to you guys, and that is the reason I'm doing this. Again, if you've liked this, the content, please hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future episodes. We will be continuing the Wrexham series as well, and we'll be doing that on live streams, maybe on a Friday and Saturday night. So um, hopefully I get to see you all there as well. I'll catch you all soon. Have a good one, guys.